So in this video, I thought we'd take a look at uh, formatting and writing 720k floppies under Windows 10. There's actually a way to do this, but it requires an external uh, USB 3.5 inch floppy drive that supports 720k. Up on floppydisk.com, you'll actually find this uh, drive right here, this genuine Dell brand, etc. that supports 720k. I've been using one of these drives for probably two years now. It works really well. So uh, I, th I thought I'd give you some information on it and then do a demo of how to format 720k floppies on the drive. So if we jump over to the Explorer here, and let me go ahead and plug the USB cable into the drive. We may or may not see it mount this drive A. It's plugged in. It did show up in this case. Sometimes it doesn't show up, uh, and if it doesn't show up, you can just come up here and type in A colon. Oh, if I could actually type A colon. Let me pop a floppy into the drive. And that'll get it mounted as well, and you can see the contents on it. Uh, and there it is. So like I say, sometimes it shows up in the list here, sometimes it doesn't. Notice that it just vanished from the list here. I really can't explain that. Uh, besides it's somewhat inconsistent, so to format a 720k floppy, there's no way I know of in Windows to actually, you know, right click and do a format on the A colon for 720k. It's just not supported. However, you can open up a command prompt, as we have right here, and you can format a 720k a floppy from the command prompt. Let me, uh, Go ahead and increase the uh, font size here a bit just to make this hopefully easier to follow along. So if you look at format command line options, oh that didn't wrap pretty did it? That's better. So if we do format with the slash s at the command line, we will get the information on how to format. And the parameter we're in is interested in right here is slash f colon and the size. And specifying 720 here for the size will format a 720k floppy. Under Windows 10 on a PC, assuming you have a floppy drive, an external floppy drive uh, that supports 720k floppy. So if I do a format, a colon slash F720, I can actually format a 720k floppy. Under Windows 10, this is, and the drive is being accessed, under Windows 10, this is the only way I know how to do this. Like I say, it, if the drive happens to show up in the Explorer, right clicking on it and format, there's just no option there to get to 720k. We'll let this finish formatting here. So I've had this little Dell drive for at least two years. I've used it tons uh, for 720k floppies. For I'm using it currently with my Amiga. Uh, I'm using. I've used it with my Atari ST. I used it many times with some of my older, really old uh, PC compatible machines. Uh, it worked well there as well for uh, you know, machines that didn't support high density. And of course, as you can see here, formatting a floppy is really slow. And while this is formatting, let's go ahead and take a couple close-up looks at some photos of the drive. So here is the drive. Uh, Obviously, it's an internal drive meant for some kind of a laptop. Probably, it's got a connector here, and it could be, you know, inserted into a, a laptop or a CD-ROM reader. I'm assuming could be uh, inserted. There is this connector over here on the side that the USB cable plugs into. We can take a close-up at the label here. You might get lucky enough to find one of these on eBay. You might not if you have a PC recycler. Sometimes they'll have a bin full of drives like this and you know CD-ROM drives for laptops. 
you might get lucky there as well. Uh, ultimately, for me, this is still formatting. Let it finish here. Uh, I'm going to use this to transfer some Amiga files, so I'll give the volume, the disk, volume label Amiga. If we come back around to Explorer, which apparently I closed, the A drive is not showing up here, but I can make it show up by typing a colon slash here. There is the drive. Let's find something to copy onto it. Uh, it can't be anything really big. One of these JPEGs should work. Or not. Uh, I need something tiny. Something tiny. Uh, this isn't where I expect. Hmm. Confusion reigns. Oh, and there's the folder we're looking at right now with the photos. Oh, good lord. This may look familiar. It's where's this actually saved as? Oh, we'll just go ahead and save it directly to the A floppy here from Notepad. Floppy drive is being accessed, and there's a file written out to that 720k floppy. And I could drag this floppy over to the Amiga uh, using the DOS drivers for the floppy drives on the Amiga. Uh, the PC0 and PC1. Definitions or drivers, you could actually then copy this file off to when you make a hard drive and use it. Uh, so hopefully this hasn't been too confusing. You know, it's just a little magic command line here. Uh, like I say, A drive doesn't even want to show up here on the list. Ah, uh, that got it to show up. And you could go in and do a, uh, you know, we can look at it here, right click, where's format, format, it's accessing the drive at the moment, it's accessing the drive again, it's unhappy with something here, let's say command line's the only way. Yep, Windows can't format this type of disk. It's recognizing it's not a 1.44 and just telling me Windows can't. But as I've proven here, the command line can. Anyhow, this is just a quick video to look at this. Uh, again, this is on floppydisk.com. If you look at their floppy drives, you'll find this drive here. I did pay the full $50 for mine way back when I bought it. Uh, and it's on sale at the moment. Uh, I have no idea how many of these they have in stock. I've never encountered these anyplace else. I've also never encountered one of these you know, 1.44 meg drives. I've got several of them I bought over the years that'll actually support 720K. Never found one that does. Anyhow, I will guess wrap this up here and we'll talk soon. Thank you.